Hello and welcome, my name is Parkins, time to play some more Don't Starve. Now, last time we left off we made it to this rocky biome place, and we're just going to gather a few more rocks before we carry on, and hopefully we'll get a bit more flint for our journeys. And maybe even a bit more gold, I'd quite like to gather a bit more gold, as we've only got two pieces. Preferably avoiding death <laughs> by the tall birds over there. However, um, I need at least three gold. There we go, perfect. And now I can get both the research machine and the alchemy sh machine. Ugh, bit of a tongue twister. Right, okay, so looking at the map to refresh my memory, so we found our way onto this place over here, which we haven't really discovered much of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down. I think we've got plenty of rocks now. Uh, we need to worry about this food now as well, because people told me that the green bars going down is actually how off the food is. So, it's not always best to actually just cook all your food in one go. It's best to save a bit of it. And you've actually sort of collect, got to collect it per day almost, which is a bit of a pain. But I suppose it makes it more realistic, and this game is a survival game, so... I suppose the developers have done something right there. Right, okay, so we're going to wander around the outside of this island. Oh, there's a bit of gold here. Oh, it's one of these spider places. Luckily they haven't grown too big yet, but we definitely do not want to be here at night. Because the amount of spiders that these things will churn out, not a good place to be. Not at least until we have some good armour or anything. Also, actually interesting fact, people told me about the fire starting ability that this character has. Oh, this is weird. It sort of, like, links across here. Huh. Okay, so we've already been that way. However, um, yeah, so the fire starting ability with this character... Oh, right, so it's joining up with this swamp place now at the start. So we've just gone in a big circle. I will eventually finish the sentence I started with. Um, yeah, so the fire starting ability, apparently I don't ever need to light fires unless I just want to cook food. Because, basically, when it gets dark... I literally just stand there and I set a fire at my feet. So I'm impervious to the death by darkness route, which is what killed me last time, which is fairly nice. Um, but preferably we're not going to hit any beefalo this time, because I'm pretty sure that's what screwed me over last. Uh, and also people pointed out that the meat figure, uh, if I can actually find it in here, in the magic place, a meat effigy, I can't make because it actually requires beard hair, which we don't have. So what I'm going to have to do is find amulets. Uh, and the best way of doing that, I reckon, is probably, sorry, is to keep going to graveyards and digging up until we find one. And that amulet will basically give us an extra life. Speaking of which, um, one good thing that has come of this is that I've actually um, ordered some new computer components very recently. It was yesterday. I've upgraded to literally... I, well, I'm not going to mention anything. I'll just say that I got a very... I probably got one of the top of the line processors yesterday. <laughs> and of, of course, because I'm running on old tech, my motherboard won't fit the new processors. So I had to buy a new motherboard as well. But luckily, <laughs> YouTube is there to support me in that fact. So thank you. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that means that I'll be able to... Um, like, when games like Rome 2 come out, I'll be able to still play that on Ultra. Uh, I mean, I can play pretty much everything on Ultra already, but I'm running on, like, year and a half old tech with my current computer. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but I don't know. I've got this thing with computers, because obviously I'm doing a computing degree and other things like that. I feel like I'm cheating myself if I don't have things as modern as they could be. Okay, so this whole island is a complete waste of time. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you very much. So we're going to walk around this one. Hopefully we'll find another path, maybe going to the top or the left. And if we do, then hopefully it might be a savanna. Although people actually said to me, don't live in a savanna. And I kind of have to agree with you, seeing as that's how I died last time. And what I'm probably going to do is, if there's a savanna island, I'm going to live in the biome next to it, or the island next to it, so that I don't actually risk hitting beefalo. I can just go over there and do a mass collection of uh, their poo, so that I can make my food all yummy. So I mean, if this next island is the savannah, I mean, that would be very useful. This is the second episode we've got of this, of, well, of this um, new one. Okay, so it's almost night time. I'm slightly concerned about trying out this um, ability that we've got. 
but I think we're going to have to. And we've found a grave, so this might actually be where we find our lovely amulet. Have we got it equipped? Am I being really stupid? Okay. Dig it! Dig up that grave! I got really excited for a minute. No! No! Oh. Okay, well, we've got a grass tuft. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Right, let's um, unequip this. Because I don't think it's particularly the best tool to be having as my number one slot. But yeah, apparently you can dig up this path and stuff, and extend paths, and like completely redesign stuff. And we found a pig village. Okay, and they're all going off to bed. Okay, right, well, I suppose this might be a good place to... Am I just, like, trolling them? Do they turn their lights on and off when you go near them? Okay, come on, light the fire. If someone's trolling me and saying that, I'm just gonna... Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool then. So we don't actually need to worry about campfires. Um, I'm going to eat some of these berries. Um. Oh, geez, that really worried me. So, okay, the fire keeps going out. Um, maybe this is just if you want to conserve wood, but apparently you can't die in the dark with this character. Although she does make rather irritating flute noises. So I suppose we can actually travel in this. I'm just trying this out. I don't really... Yeah, okay, so we can travel in this. It's... Oh! That might be a problem if we're in a forest biome. <laughs> okay, so we can go all the way around. I, sort of, I, sort of, I should have gone to the edge of the island over here. Oh god, what are you doing? Stop it. Hello? Right, okay. Probably not best way of travelling in the dark, to be honest. Okay, so we're now at the edge. Oh! That freaked me out. Okay. So dark! Right, okay. This food is going off. Stale roasted berries. That was kind of gross. Do we lose health for that? So these have actually gone off now. Or should I s still keep eating them? Yeah, so it still re it restores hunger. So I don't really see what the problem is. That noise is going to get quite old, isn't it? I can tell. And apparently, actually, all characters now have 148 hunger. Which is a bit weird. I mean, 150 hunger. Um, I mean, it, it seems a bit more sort of natural to me to think of 100 hunger. It's like max hunger. I don't know why they've gone for 150. Uh, but we won't, we won't question it. So maybe if you cook things, they go off a lot quicker. Or certain things go off a lot quicker than others. Because these roasted seeds have definitely lasted a lot longer than the berries. Maybe it's because the berries are organic. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, but we're still on the search for a new island. If there's not one this way, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we've still got like this whole island here to do and this one. So th there's a good chance that we're going to come across another one. And hey, considering we haven't actually found a savannah already, there's a pretty good chance that the next one is going to be one. Hopefully. Or at least I'll keep telling myself that to make myself feel better. Right. So one of the main uh, per goals of this one that I'm looking forward to trying out is to try and unlock literally everything. And is this the grave here? It is. Okay, so let's dig this up. Hopefully there's another grave around here somewhere. It doesn't really... doesn't look like it, to be honest. But we're going to have to rotate the camera so we can actually see the grave. There we go. Amulet, please. God damn it. Right. Well, let's carry on. Where's my axe? And my axe! Or should I say, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> axe? <laughs> Not quite the same effect, is it? Oh, actually, this sort of reminds me of um, the Clangers in a way. I don't know if people are sort of aware of the Clangers. You might be too old, too young, even. Um, 
you know, there's these like basically, I don't know how to describe them, sort of like a little mix between human aardvarks and like anteaters and like just loads of animals with weird features. They sort of look, were they pigs actually? I think they might have just been pigs. I'm not sure. Well, look, if you know what it is, then tell me what they are, because I don't know. They are clangers. They are a race of people. You can't segregate them and relate them to animals that roll around in dirt. That's not nice. But yeah, they um, they basically lived on the moon, I think. And I'm probably completely bullshitting this, because I'm not totally sure. Um, but yeah, I think they lived on the moon, and they had like little silver spacesuits, and they spoke in whistles. And it sort of reminds me of how the people in this game speak. Yeah, cool story, right? <laughs> Dear God. Nice, two seeds. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this swamp, God, around the edge. If we keep running, we should be fine, hopefully. Oh, you know what, never mind. Probably not fine. So get rid of these berries, and then what else is going off first? Roasted carrots, we'll eat these. Okay, so our health is back up to 81. This is why it is not good going through the swamp, but we're going to have to risk it to find this other island. If I die by doing this, I'm not going to be very happy. We're not going to go for those seas because I'm feeling like I'm not very lucky at this point. Uh, okay. Fine so far. Would be nice if I found a, a path sooner rather than later. Seeing as it is also ni almost night time, which will not be a good thing if I'm stuck in a swamp at night. There is an island there I can see. Which sort of suggests that we're coming up to a path. Hopefully very soon. No, or is it just like another troll island where it's just going to taunt me and I'm not ever going to find the path? Yeah, okay, it's a troll island. Thank you very much, game. Look like quite a nice island as well. I wouldn't mind setting up home there. God damn you. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so I'm slightly worried about our food situation now. This um, new aspect of food going off, is it sort of brings a new... Um, dimension to the game in the fact that you're not safe you can't just like collect a load of food at the start and then you're fine for about like 10 days it doesn't quite work like that now which is why i kind of want to find a savannah as soon as possible so i can set up some of those speedy farm plots and other stuff of interest and i know this is probably not the most entertaining thing to watch at the moment i am just trying to find the islands um how are we doing god this is one big island <laughs> and you'd think that we'd come across a pathway by now wouldn't you but yeah, actually, I might as well use this as a time to talk to you about um, the games that I'm doing on my channel. And look, we found a path, so thank you very much. And it's quite a nice biome as well. However, we're going to walk around the outside of this until we find a savannah. So, um, the games on my channel, if you're not aware, currently I am doing, obviously, Don't Starve. I'm also doing um, FTL. And there's another path here. <laughs> God damn you, game. Okay. Uh, we'll probably set up camp here tonight. Uh, probably chop down a few of these trees. Might as well do it here, as there's a bit around this area. Um, I know there's people are probably going to rage because I shouldn't be doing this. But, um, yeah, I'm doing FTL, Don't Starve, and Prison Architect. Now, Prison Architect and Don't Starve both seem quite popular. I don't know whether people are enjoying my uh, FTL. Now, what I'd like people to do is to tell me whether you are enjoying it in the comments of this video. And if you're not, if you're not enjoying it, then tell me, just please suggest other games that you'd like me to do. Because I'm completely open to ideas, I will happily do anything um, within reason. I'm not going to do Dwarf Fortress before anyone says, because although I don't judge games on their graphics... Um, that one is a bit too much for me. Like, the graphics on that... Bit, bit too, let's say, old. Or, like, old style. Um, if they update the graphics at some point, which I doubt they will, then maybe. But until then, I'm not doing draw... Uh, the only reason I mention that game in particular is because everyone keeps messaging me saying, Do Dwarf Fortress. Did that bird seriously just sit there while I whacked it around the head with an axe? Okay, so we've got a red bird feather and a morsel of meat. Right, I'm assuming that meat will probably go off fairly quickly. Just add one more log and then after that we can just stand here. Um, however, actually, seeing as we've got seven gold, we might as well down put down a research table. Science machine. 
been playing too much FTB. <laughs> Research tales. Oh dear god. Okay, papyrus. Now we haven't actually collected any of this today. However, we have got a bug net that we could unlock. I really like the idea of this tent. Use an alchemy engine to learn more. Got bug net. Yep. Tools. What other tools can we learn how to unlock? Hammer. Deconstruct structures. So I can actually take down these? Let's research it. So I need stone and rope. Uh, how much rope? Two. Let's make one of those quickly. Might as well. I just want to see what it, how it works, to be honest. Hammer. So it does have a durability. Ah, so you can hammer these down. And you get the gold back and everything? It looks like it. So basically with the hammer, the idea is that anything that you place down you can shift and you get all of the materials back from. Now to be honest, that seems like a pretty good tool, or at least a good addition to the game. I'm glad I unlocked that now. We've got 62 points. We should have probably bunged these things in before we destroyed that, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. And that's day five. Now that's two days of survival, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a comment or your general support in terms of likes, favourites, or even subscribe if you haven't done so already. And remember, tell me what you think of my FTL series, and if you don't like it, what else should I play? Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.